today I want to do something a little different. I'm not going to show the plant today. This is um, after two years growing dragon fruit from cuttings, and I have well, enough data to make a conclusion about how my dragon fruit growing in year 2020 last year. So I'm going to show you my um, recording system for my dragon fruit production. And uh, this is a Excel um, file. That's how my keep uh, how I keep my dragon fruit record. And I set this a file. Um, you can see here this column is uh, the name of the of the variety. Like here is a Bruni, and this column is uh, recording the flowers. The first date here is the first date. Uh, first date the flower bud was uh, spotted. And the second date is the date that the flower opened. And the number in the parentheses is um, how many days for the flower from uh, flower bud to open. So this one takes like 25, 20, around 27 days. And this column is recording the pollination. Um, what, what pollen was used to poly, uh, poll, uh, pollinate this particular flower. Um, you can see that the, uh, this one is not pollen. Let's, let's use this one. So because the date that the flower opened is the date to, for pollination. So this date actually is not the date of the flower open, but it's the date that the pollen was used. In this particular case, the pollen is from American Beauty, and this one is stored because the flower opened on June 3rd and the pollen was stored in freezer on date um, May 10th. So totally stored in 24 days in the freezer. And I also make little notes like that day had rainy day or it's something different from regular way. So these dates has little rain on the, the pollination date. In this column, I recording the the fruit if they have aborted like uh, like well, on these lines this is um they, they all re uh, aborted because bruni you can see the earliest date the earliest the flower bud was spotted on march 25th that's my very first flower that the the show flower bud and because bruni is a self stereotype and uh, all 15 flowers opened around that time. I had no uh, pollen for them. I even tried to self-pollinate it or using pollen from um, Connie Mayer. That's the only flower that opened in that time. But Connie Mayer is so similar to Bruni. So the, the pollen from Colin, Connie Mayer did not do anything. So all 15 flowers aborted. So whenever I have a flower, uh, uh, the fruit portion, I'll uh, put it on this column. And also this column is for fruit harvesting. The first date is what date the fruit was harvested. And this one is uh, harvested on July 19th. <coughs> so there was a pollinate on June 3rd and the harvest on July 19th. So totally four. 46 days that particular fruit is hanging on the on the <coughs> on the branch and here's the weight of the fruit and this particular fruit weighed at 6.5 ounces and here I record that the, the bricks when I open the fruit I test their bricks rating and this one is a 15 and this is my system for all the recordings. And you can see like a Bruni, I have um, the first wave of flowers open up on March, but they all aborted. But not long ago, not long after, like around May 12th, the second wave of flower uh, start to show up. And they all bloomed and all pollinated because this time I have plenty other dragon fruit opening up uh, flowers. So I, you can see that 
I have different flower from different varieties and they have different date in in store in, uh, in the freezer and some of them are pollinated by fresh flower uh, a fresh pollen from that same day because they have a particular day when this open and the pink panther also opened so I be able to pollinate this bruni <coughs> Bruni uh, flower with a pink panther pollen, and um, it's but the Bruni is supposed to be a very sweet um, variety of dragon fruit, but you can see the the reading of Briggs reading is not really that impressive. Um, at the beginning, I thought maybe I didn't keep them in the uh, on the on the stem for long enough, like 45 days, maybe it's not enough. So I leave them longer and longer on the on the branch. It's like a, from 40 days, 50 days, 60 days, 70 days, even up to 80 days. And they it is still not very sweet, and the, the the weight didn't increase. So keep them longer on the branch doesn't really do much based on. All my recording, but interesting thing is you can see this so the all how we uh, flower open around June, and right from here, August. This time it still have a lot of fruit still from the second wave of flower still hanging around, and the third wave of flower buds appeared, uh, three months after the first uh, second wave of. Uh, flower are showing up and on this on this set of fruit uh, the third wave of fruit you can see the reading the fruit reading jumping from 15 to 18 and it pretty consistently all these uh, fruits that from the third wave are much sweeter than the second wave so they could be because uh, because August, and uh, this is all harvest on October or November. Um, uh, so it's the weather here is very hot. Maybe hot weather make a fruit sweeter, or maybe is the plant here now is more mature. So mature plant have a more sweeter, um, sweeter fruit. Uh, I'm not sure what the reason, but uh, I think this phenomenon is pretty interesting. The Bruni has three wave of flowers, and uh, the first one it bought it, but the second one is not not sweet, and the third one is getting pretty sweet. And for the for the year of 2020, Bruni totally have 23 fruit harvest for the whole year. So it's because the size are not very big, it's uh, from five ounces to seven ounces. It belong to a small fruit uh, variety. So whenever it has small fruit, it's always um, more productive. And you can see, and the next variety is Connemayer. And this one is very similar to Bruni. And you can see have similar similar thing. The first wave was aborted, and the second wave of flowers not sweet, and the third wave is sweeter. But this time it's not really consistent. And they still have some 14, 15. It's not as consistent as uh, Bruni. And uh, I have 22 Connemayer harvest um, year of 2020. And uh, in contrast with these small fruit um, variety, varieties, American Beauty is my third one um, start have a flower. The first flower, American uh, Beauty, appear on April 10th. And, uh, and the fruit size is like uh, over a pound, some over a pound, even the smallest is still 14 ounces. It's, really, it's kind of um, big fruit and you can see the brick reading even the very first one had the bricks reading 19 
and uh, pretty consistent. It's I think American Beauty is a very good um, variety. And um, the the drawback is is not as productive. Like whole year, I only have seven American Beauty harvested. So compared to twenty two, that's much lower productivity. <coughs> Uh, this is my American Beauty second for, bought from second uh, different uh, vendor, and that one is only because it was bought later. It's only one uh, flower show up, but it's still very sweet. It's very good, and the size are a little smaller than this one, but uh, based on the bricks, is a bricks number is very good variety. And Condor is one pretty early flowering too. But the, uh, the problem for condor is it kind of uh, aborted quite a lot of flowers. Like the very first one is already aborted. Even I pollinated by the American Beauty flower of uh, pollens and uh, from from exact uh, from this exact the same pollen and some other fruit um, was uh, was a set. So the abortion is nothing to do with the um, the pollen and um, there may be some other reason but uh, then a couple of days later two flowers from from uh, condor was aborted and then, then after that and then, then you have quite a few uh, flowers aborted also but this time of the year is very uh, very wet a lot of rains so Condor are probably more um, acceptable to, I mean, uh, uh, prompt to uh, molding in the, in the humid environment. So total around 13, 12, 13 flowers opened. I only have six of them harvested. The bricks reading is um, not very consistent, but uh, some are the big ones. Uh, pretty sweet it's pretty good but uh, almost half of the flowers are aborted on condor I'm not sure it's for that year or so I'm, I'm going to keep eye on condor on this year on 2021 to see if I still have more abort aborted flowers than the other varieties so I'm going to keep eye on condor and delight is a very interesting one uh, they have medium size of fruit and you can see they have fruit like crazy. I have total 26 fruit harvest from Delight. And, but this, the, the bricks reading are jumping all over. It's sometimes like only 11. But this one is really small. It's only 2.1 only 2 ounces. There's something wrong with this, this one. So but all the other, like some are 18, pretty good. There's some, a lot of them are only 14, 15. And, um, and then occasionally have a 17. So it's not very consistent on the, on the, on the sweetness. But sometimes this reading is just uh, the reading when you eat the fruit. The 15 one and the 16 one really have very little difference. I really can't tell. 15 or 16 which one is really sweeter and one thing about delight is that the the taste of fruit are very um very interesting even if it's not very sweet but it's still very tasty so i'm still pretty happy about this this um this uh, variety and also i tried um, um, try American uh, the delight because some people say delight is a uh, cell sterile and some say as a delight is a cell uh, fertile. So I tried uh, uh, two of them, two flowers, and this one is self pollinated, and also this one is self pollinated, and uh, and and both set fruit. Oh no, this one, this one's aborted. Uh, I don't know, but this one is uh, a set fruit. 
and um, the fruit is not very really big, it's only 4 ounces, and the read, uh, uh, big reading is not very high either. So, so after that, I think that there's no, because I have so many other flowers open at the same time, there's no reason to do more self uh, uh, pollination experiment. So I kind of give up. And I don't care the self uh, sterile, self uh, uh, fertile or more. But, but here, later on, and this one, this particular one is because that day I don't have any other flower open. So I said, okay, I'll just do one more self uh, 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 um, pollination test, and this one, and also set fruit. And fruit size is decent, six ounces, and it's pretty sweet also, seven point five. So I think particular this, the delight I have is uh, pretty sure is a self uh, a fertile delight, uh, based on all my. Uh, information here and uh, another one is uh, Edgus baby it's a medium size of a fruit a medium size of uh, productivity this fruit is not very sweet but it's very pleasant it's it very nice uh, fragrant on the flesh when you open it you can smell it and then when you, when you eat it you you your palate kind of feel feel that the floral fragrance from this uh, this fruit is very very delight very like I like it very much. See the last one I harvest um, on November. It's the largest one. It's like one pound nine ounces, and also the bricks reading are increased quite a lot compared to the previous fruit. So this X of baby still have some hope. Maybe next year, I mean this year, 2021 will be, the fruit will be sweeter for X baby. And here's the sugar dragon. Um, this one I bought it late. So it's, it's only like a half year production. So the, they only have 14 fruit harvested. And the bricks reading is kind of a jumping all over the place. 16, 14, 17, 18. Um, I can't really find any uh, consistency on why it's some days uh, lower bricks reading, some days are higher. It seems random. And um, the fruit size may have something to do because it seems a bigger size all has little higher reading and uh, but, but not always and also this uh, neon I think neon and the sugar dragon are very very similar varieties their flower look almost exactly the same the fruit almost like the same but you can uh, you can see that the I I just realized that it seems all my neons are sweeter than the sugar dragon for some reason <clears throat> you're going to get a lot of 18s and uh, it's even uh, it, later on even 19s and 19.5 it seems sweeter than sugar dragon so it's pretty interesting I didn't notice if I don't have this record but once you have record it's very easy to look back so you can kind of have a general idea how this uh, dragon fruit was doing and during the whole week, a uh, whole year. And uh, this is G2. G2 is um, it's only have uh, it's a kind of medium and large uh, fruit. I only have eight fruit harvest for the year. The reading is uh, a little higher, like uh, beside the fr very first fruit, and um, if they get 19. 18, 17, it's pretty sweet, pretty good uh, variety. And this one is uh, self sterile for sure. So it's a good variety to have. It's uh, pretty sweet. But even the sweet, I, I, I label here is uh, <coughs> even the, even the bricks reading is pretty high, but when you eat the fruit, they have little sourness to it. <clears throat> Some people like it because they said there was a balance between sweet and sour, 
But the, I like the very sweet one. I like the American Beauty better than G2. And this is my unknown um, variety. And I got it one year earlier than all the others. So this is the Dash. Their third year, and <clears throat> you can see the brick reading um pretty high and very tasty. Um, I but I have no idea what the variety it is. They are different from all the other right the no variety I have. They are not um, they are more elongated than uh, than American Beauty, so they are definitely not American Beauty, and they are bigger than. G2, so it's definitely not G2, and also bigger than Condor, so it's definitely not Condor. I have no idea what that variety is, but it's a very good one. I like it. I like it a lot. Pink Panther, a small fruit. Uh, fruit reading are uh, uh, pretty uns, 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 unstable. 18, 19 versus 14, 15. I only get 10 fruit harvest from that year. So interesting uh, variety. And uh, it's, a, it's a universal pollinator, so it's worth to keep it. Trisha is an interesting one. And you can tell that the I harvest like uh, 47 days, they cracked. I harvest 36 days, they cracked. It's only almost every one of them cracked. It's so very easy to crack. So when the trees start to turn turn color, you really have to monitor and you can harvest them before they crack. And the bricks reading, the very first one's very sweet. I thought, wow, very nice. But the, all the other one after that, it's not sweet anymore, not very sweet. I don't know why. And the first one is not not very big, and the later one is bigger than that, but they are not sweet. Um, well, I'll see, probably it's too much rain to dilute them, I'm not sure. So I'll keep eye on Trisha this year. Physical graffiti, this one I got late, and um, you can see only get nine fruit. And uh, the bricks reading is not very consistent either. Like you can go 18.5 or can sometimes a 14. Fruit size is pretty big in the like a medium to large size. Size and um, because it's a little sour kind of uh, variety, I like American Beauty more than Physical Graffiti. And uh, after that. Yes, since it's Spanish, I, I, I really don't like this one. This one is, uh, they are all very low reading. Not just low reading, when you eat the food, they are not very tasty. And also they only have four fruit harvest that day, uh, that year. So I really have um, very little interest on this one, I'm not sure. And uh, they says that there was, uh, this supposed to be self uh, uh, fertile, variety. I tried it one and it was aborted. So um, I'm not sure because I didn't really try enough. So I'm not sure is it really self uh, fertile or not. Oh yeah, Kathy Van La Rune. That's my favorite. And look, look at the reading. Even the very first one, pretty small, only 4.4 ounces. I get 19. And later on, get 22.5, 21, 22. Very, very sweet. Very, very good. I love it so much. And uh, so I'm going to propagate more of this. And uh, this is one uh, I really like. The fruit size is kind of in a smaller size, on a smaller size. But you can get pretty big too. 8.3 is not really that big, that small. I'll see this year the Connie, um, Kathy and the room can get in bigger or not. This is a very good uh, variety to have. It's not really low productivity either because it started late. The first flower only show on July, but I already got 10 uh, fruit harvested. So it's a very good variety. And this one, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's called Guyudi or Guyadi. 
is the white uh, white um, flash variety and very big it, I think it's the biggest one I have uh, one pound eight ounces was one and a half pounds but the reading is kind of low and um, as the productivity is pretty low so I don't know I'll keep it for a couple years to see how how they can be a little sweeter later on and uh, the fruit size is worth uh, it worth a while to, to keep and uh, this is yellow uh, uh, Columbiana interesting I have six flower opened and then none of them are harvested yet because um, by by research reading about the yellow columbiana people say the flower take at least half a year to uh, to mature and uh, so th this flower uh, this fruit are still hanging on the tree and it just start to turn yellow uh, I'm one of them actually turned yellow earlier so I turned yellow on around December I'm going to do a video very soon to uh, show you the, my yellow columbiana how it looks like and how it tastes like so just in a couple days so stay tuned uh, this is I know too I have another I know and it's a white, uh, white flash and the reading is not good so I don't I actually two I have two fruits and this one the possum ate it and uh, but it's I don't really like the white flesh much they they're most of them are less sweet and um, it's not very really impressive so and all these varieties like Vietnamese white or Sundafor as the Caminia Pelora from seeds or from graphic and I still have more that uh, varieties that have not flowered yet so I'm hoping all these will start to flower this year uh, one thing I want to talk about it uh, quickly is also is about the pollen storage you can see that the, almost every day some uh, flower open every night and uh, when the time you don't have a, f a different variety open in the same time same night you have to use the pollen from the storage but most of the most of the pollen storage methods I check online they store all the pollen in one uh, little uh, small glass jar or whatever they store all pollen in the same same place so every time that, that means every day you have to take the pollen out of the freezer because you have to use them almost every day I don't think that's a very good uh, method. It, it, it's it's not good for the pollen to keep be freeze and thaw so many times. They will the pollen will lose the viability. So I come up with a uh, idea to store a uh, pollen in in fractions, and each one each, each fraction of a pollen will be stored in the individual package. So you put the individual package in the freezer. So each time you have flower open at night you just take one package out and um, in that way you don't have to freeze and saw the whole pollen so the pollen will keep uh, alive for a longer time and you can see here these methods uh, the pollen I stored I freeze on May 12th and we used on August and they're still viable so uh, the the methods it works for sure but um, so I want to want you to take a look at here this is a, a pink panther pollen freeze on June 10th so the, so the June 10th pink panther pollen was used once when they've on June 14th, when they're storing store in the uh, in the freezer for four days, and they worked. And also the uh, June 10th pollen is uh, used on June 16th the second time, and they worked. But on this day, on June 18th, the third time I used the the pollen from the same day harvest, 
and the fruit was aborted. Even this pollen are stored in individual uh, package, but this package was stored in the freezer. The package itself in a, a, it's not completely sealed for moisture. So every time you open the package, you, you, you open the storage, the moisture from outside can go into the package and uh, the you, when you when you do it once when you twice is okay but the third time you're doing it again the pollen seems lost the viability so because i have a detailed recording on the pollen usage so i know that the the third time i use the pollen it doesn't work that made me think that the the pollen package maybe it should be uh, sealed individually for this reason i i come up with the second methods to store the pollen the individual sealed package so these methods used pretty good and uh, you can you can uh, i'm going to record these methods on the end of this video so you, you if you are interested and you can go take a look so the uh, because of all my experience here, all these uh, frozen methods have been tested again and again, so I'm pretty sure the methods works. So that's about it. It's a long recording, so I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to stop here, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks.